Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Apocalypse in our High Dominion series. Exciting times for the High Dominion. We are looking at the Citrinius Station here, which has just finished building. And I'm going to go ahead and add its first two trading hubs. And then we're going to go ahead and queue up a Starhold upgrade as well, so that we can continue to add to that. We will, on top of that, I guess we could do a resource silo, but also we can make this a Hyperlane Registrar, which I think I want to do first, in order to make this kind of... To make, you know, jumping through our central territory a little bit faster for our ships. The other exciting thing about what we're doing right now... Actually, you know what? You go ahead and go back for these upgrades first. We just finished... Before we go on this drone hunt, we just finished the upgrade or the the research for the newest energy um, reactor. The newest... Uh, it's the antimatter reactor for all of our ships. And so having these installed will ensure that as I upgrade weapons and make these more and more complex... This reminds me, I actually need to add some defense platforms around these stations in addition to what they already have. So, that's probably going to cost me maintenance, but, um... Yeah, it is. Hang on. Let's take a look at the defense platform blueprint. Let's see how they're looking. Looking pretty good, honestly. Auxiliary fire control could be handy. Don't need afterburners. Yeah, you're a platform, that nothing else to change there. Alright, so the Concha class defense platform is ready to go. And I do need to build those, but again, they're gonna cost maintenance. Let's look one more time at upkeep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Running those is expensive. Running cruisers is expensive too. Mother of God. So we can't have too many of those yet, but I will need to focus on getting as many of those in place as possible. So we've had a bit of an energy deficit, and we continue to have one right now because we're still looking to build up some additional planets, which is why we have the uh, Citrinius station basically becoming a trade hub for us. And once Corniforos, which has a colony ship on the way to it, is colonized, that will be an additional source of energy as well, as will the other uh, systems in the area. I'm hoping to continue colonizing out this direction and maybe even this direction if we're fortunate. Possibly even this way. We'll see. We have to clear out these ancient mining drones first, which is our primary objective with this here fleet. It's currently in the process of getting its reactors upgraded. Sin Station needs its uh, platforms upgraded there. That's not a problem. Go ahead and do that. And we'll go to... Uh, let's go to speed 3 our for a bit. While we're waiting for this. Alright, so our now, Raul Pockens Armada is on the way back, and every single mining drone fleet we defeat, we will get 500 energy. So that'll help make up for the fact that we've had this energy deficit for a while. Looks like you can upgrade as well. Go ahead and do that, please. Our ships have been upgraded. Excellent. Alright, I think we have a construction ship that is on the way to get that built. Let's go ahead and build that mining station in Mercy so we can get that energy boost. And then you're done in Haneri. Very good. Let's get a mining station there as well as a research station. We will need to make claims soon if it's... Okay, interesting. The Themlar Throng has made peace with the Great Bakari Empire because they are currently getting attacked by this... Are you the Devouring Swarm? No, you're the Fanatical Purifiers that look just like me. <laughs> Somehow. But, um... System survey complete. Yeah, we've got this colony ship on the way. And we'll have to see what we can explore in this direction. I might even go ahead and position a science ship. You're already in automatic exploration, so let's put you over here and poise you. We're going to put you in position to search this space as soon as possible. Because, I mean, for all I know, there's amazing colonizable territory right around here that hasn't been accessible either because there's another empire or because the Eastern Reavers have been blocking off, you know. Well, they really only blocked me off. Oh, cool. We got another um, biological specimen, and this time that research that we're about to get should help with the hypercoms for them. The small rodent-like creatures known as Orinthi are native to Absajamine 3, where, they have it, where their habitat extends across most of the planet's diverse climatic regions. They breed at an extremely rapid rate and seem to have a particular fondness for chewing on electric cables. Procuring specimens was not a problem. In fact, after the initial creatures were collected, more of them made their way onto the ATS Groom the Merciful by hitching rides on the science ship's orbital shuttles. Exactly why the Museum of Exobiology requested Orinthi specimens remains a mystery. Okay, so that shaved two months off of the Hypercoms Forum. Those are really going to boost our Unity output, so I'm looking forward to having those. We are 18 months away from our next policy, by the way. Alright, so there's the hypercoms form right there. Huh. 
Defense Army Damage. Let's go ahead and do this in case we do find ourselves at war. So far, the way that I've been building up, I think it's very much consistent with... Okay, we've arrived here. I think it's very much consistent with the... Um, there we go. Speed one. Let's enjoy this. I'll finish that thought in a moment. You can see our line ships hanging back and firing from a distance. Doesn't look like these pirate ships are posing, or these drones, they're not pirates, they're just drones. They're not, they're not posing much of a threat at all. None of the drones really have, which is not surprising. Ah, we got gale speed now. So Admiral Keba, let's take a quick look at her. Now has gale speed. I guess because combat is still active, I can't see the character yet. But that is a very handy new addition to have. Let's go ahead and eliminate this station. We did get some energy for that, and we have our energy surplus in place once again. All right, so gale speed is extra sublight speed in addition to what we already have, and extra evasion. So this is a very nimble fleet. I like that we are in that position. I will go ahead and send this science ship in. I want to have you research, then survey, then auto-explore. As a matter of fact, you're also auto-exploring. I want to have you... Survey, and then auto-explore. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Just want to make sure that order went through correctly. You are still looking at the various creature specimens that we need to go through our territory. But now we have enough energy. So it looks like we got the energy credit, uh, the energy bonus twice for defeating the station and for defeating the fleet. That is amazing. We are going to get so, so much energy to make up for the fact that we had that deficit for so long. So... First things first, let's go to our contacts, let's go visit the curators, and let's get another boost to our research. We would like to purchase that service once again. And let's take Rol Pockin's armada and send them over here to say hello to these drones and get some more energy. Speed 3, please. Now, again, because our sublight speed is so impressive... Oh no. I don't need to do that. I might order these guys to raid before long. That would be fun. We have mastered a new technology. Set no point defense. Okay, we can get our point defense destroyers now, thankfully. All right, Empire modifier, survey speed plus 33% if I have that now. Or do I want the subspace sensors so we can build black hole observatories? Or do I want better shields? <laughs> uh, decisions. I kind of want to just knock out data, data bank uplinks really quickly, but we'll be able to do that eventually. And the longer we wait, the faster it'll go. So let's do, um, let's improve survey speed. I feel like that's going to be overall a really good benefit to go ahead and have. And I do want to go ahead and build a starbase there. Our colony ship is almost in Cornophoros. So Trinius is in the process of upgrading. So it's, um, it looks like our, yeah, trading modules have been built. And we're good. We're going to build more once the star hold's ready. And we're, of course, researching uh, the star fortress right now. So our stations are about to get even cooler. Good. And again, once that colonization is finished, we're going to get the energy credits back. Uh, that we're currently losing from colonizing uh, Cornifora. So we're in good shape energy-wise now. Scientist Armuga has become more experienced, but with this experience has come an increasing stubbornness. Oh, man. Really? You, that just canceled out what made you awesome. <sighs> can we replace you with someone else that's better? Yes, we can. Guess what? You just got replaced. Good riddance. Bye. The High Dominion doesn't have time for you. If you're going to be stubborn, complete. we will dismiss you from our ranks. If not outright execute you for being slothful. I guess slothful is not quite the same as stubborn, but anyway. We're dismissing them. Okay, hostile fleets present. We have arrived to slay some more... So we're going to get our unity bonus back soon. We have mastered a new technology. This should be over pretty quickly. Greetings, Sundrians. As you no doubt know, we Thucklock are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We have studied your species and determined that the High Dominion of Sindar, excuse me, is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. <laughs> okay, whatever. To ensure the con continuation of the Sundrian species, should the worst befall your empire, we would like to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. We will construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of your species 
and its population will be well taken care of and protected from all harm, so you need not worry on their behalf. So what do you say? Will you contribute to our preserve and safeguard the future of your species? Um, I, I, I mean, I know that that I can get bonuses from them in the future for this, but from a roleplay perspective, it doesn't make sense. It, it would break the narrative of the series for me to say that we want to do this. So I'm going to go with the xenophobe response. We will never surrender our population to alien hands. And that's the way that it is. All right, defense army damage is now better. Okay, a growth speed boost would be nice. Biolab 2 might be best, but we already have a pretty nice society boost. So I would rather go ahead and boost our... Let's do the core sector system boost. That's just 20 months away. So none of our techs right now are particularly far away. And we have a very nice energy surplus again. Backscattering spectrometry sensors indicate the presence of valuable substances beneath Avon 3's noxious clouds. Cool. Alright, so that's been taken care of. I need to get you over here. So let's have you just... I'll have you survey that system and then do a... Do that research project first and foremost. I was control shift clicking there. All right, you're done here, so I need to bring you elsewhere. Let's see what else we can do. I have more influence again, so... Looks like Hades would be a good system to add, and we have more exploring to do down this direction as well. Let me go ahead and take Takaram. And then you need to continue to build research stations, please. And then we can also keep killing mining drones in the area, so let's do it. More energy for me. Oh, let's get our unity bonus back. Artisans, we wish to become your patron. Oh, it's more expensive now. Damn. All right, well, hang on. We'll get that energy soon enough. Okay, so evidently they just finished building that. Do I have two? Oh, that's why. I have two construction station or construction ships there in Marfark. That's fine. So that means I have one with nothing to do. Special product complete. After an extensive search at the seabed of Sadalabari 2 using a small fleet of mini submarines, the crew of the ATS Goom the Merciful finally managed to corner the elusive target of their search, a live tarblack. The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members on the ATS Goom the Merciful that came into direct contact with the tarblack will require extensive therapy, but the mission has been a success. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so we just saved seven months off of the uh, research project there. So it's good that we are jumping on those as rapidly as possible. And then there's one more that I'm going for. And then after that, I won't have anything else to do. So let's bring you back over here to survey and auto explore after that point. And then I guess we'll have you we're adding to Karam, so Hades would be next. Let's go there, and we'll take care of that before long. And yeah, these guys... Oh yeah, the thought that I was having earlier, these guys are just super fast now, moving across territory because of their sub -life speed bonuses. So, this fleet is just ridiculously nimble. I think I'm completing a sentence from like 10 minutes ago, but still. Also, I need to build my point defense destroyers now, so I'll do that as soon as this fight is over. I want the energy so I can get my unity bonus back. We are 12 months away from our next policy, by the way. <laughs> These ships have just stopped in space because they're line ships. It's cool to see them working that way, though. The battle mechanics look so much better than they used to. I mean, you can really tell that the ships are doing more what they're supposed to in combat. I'm loving this. It's fantastic to see, and now we have a ton of energy. Let's go ahead and visit the artisans. We want to become your patron. It is a deal. There we go. We're now 10 months away because of that change. Very nice. And also, let's go ahead and I'm going to keep doing this. Tell you what, research project, research project. This is, I'm using control shift clicking to order these, so this is a little bit obnoxious. But okay, and then we're just going to Shift click that on in the end so we have auto exploring happening after that. And we're going to have to keep giving those orders, but that's that's okay. Let's bring you down here and we're going to keep hunting for that same purpose. System now, survey. really quickly, let's make a new design. Destroyer. Uh, we definitely want a full picket ship. 
straight up as picket as a picket ship can be. And we want afterburners, or do I want... Yeah, we, we want, uh, I think we want extra evasion. These are picket ships. All right. Okay, and now for the remaining weapons here, I guess just a basic spread of weaponry would be fine. We'll do that. All right, and then these are going to be the... I guess Pirok would work for me. So... Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's auto-upgrade, save. We now have... Finally have... Um, Point Defense Destroyers. And that's going to be our command limit right there. Let's go ahead and replenish that fleet, and more ships will be on the way to back it up. But for now, we're just going to keep hunting. So we're going to have a number of our ships flying through. Okay, the Saturnia Station is ready for some more trade modules, which we are going to build. Oh, cool, I can build hangar bays now. I like that a lot. See, that's one of the reasons I wanted to wait before I added too many um, trader bays, because I wanted to see what other stuff we can do. Prosnokan Heralds of Death have been declared the rival of the Great Pokari Empire. Construction complete. And our... Whoa, what? Why? Okay. I'm guessing... Is there an upkeep penalty? Yeah, it's the Starbase upkeep. So, running this many advanced stations, there is actually an upkeep difference. Even though the button doesn't make it... I mean, I feel like this tooltip should make that much more apparent. But there is totally an upkeep difference. So now we actually ha we're in the hole a little bit. So let me go ahead and get these built first. And then we'll do the hyperlane registrar after that. We need those trading hubs as soon as possible. That sucks. But also I think it's because we just built a bunch of new ships as well. So... Yeah, those ships should be on the way. Okay, good. Fleet logistician has been added. And this is for... Galathor's Armada, so that's, yeah, somewhat useful. For the station, for the, uh, Admiral in... Oh, nice. Admiral Keba has gained the Cautious trait. Barren and Lifeless World is showing signs of once having supported a, a, a biosphere. Where's this? In Zule Crow. Oh, good. So there's a number of planets around here that could benefit from that. Uh, or that could, um, be terraformed much like Mars can. But, yeah, we're gonna add those trading hubs and... So I'm going to have to be careful with my upgrades going forward, because that is a lot more costly than I thought. Alright, Sneerin secured. Sneerins are large burrowing creatures that live beneath the dunes of the vast equatorial deserts on Zunar 5. When these predators sense movement in the sand above, they immediately raise dozens of tall spikes from their backs in the hope of impaling something edible. Finding a suitable specimen proved difficult at first until hundreds of tracked remote-controlled drones were dispatched across the desert in random directions. This led to the discovery and procurement of an unusually large specimen that had grown more than a hundred spikes on its back. Damn. Okay, we have so... A new oh, what did we get? Survey speed plus 33%. That came in good time. Oh, we're also na over our naval capacity. That's the problem. We built all those new destroyers, and I forgot we were so close to our naval cap. So what we're going to have to do is build some anchorages, and that should actually fix the energy problem. That's the issue. I completely forgot I was so close to that. All right. Well... We can also go ahead and research better power plants, which would help from the other direction as well. So we would not only be taking away from our um, expenditures, but we would be adding to our um, profit. So let's see. Yeah, the trading hub is fine. Yeah, I need to add more. Now, we've already got several anchorages on Apsaj Amin. So I don't really know... Yeah. Maybe when we upgrade to Starholds. I just don't know. Maybe maybe the Starholds were never the issue. We have claimed and it's the naval capacity issue. People. Yep. Terraforming candidate. Very good. Alright, so our energy deficits got a little bit better now that we are in control of Kornophoros. And it looks like there's some upgrades we can do here. Let's take a quick look. Oh yeah. Hang on. Let's get this done right now, now that we finally can upgrade our Unity buildings. Upgrade that. Okay. Now here, speaking of Unity, let's go ahead and put 
Oh, wow, we actually don't have the resources anymore. I'm so used to having so many resources. Yep. Let's go ahead and research that. Oh, man. Viral Tokran has descended into nuclear war, so we weren't able to get to these guys in time. I was going to do this next. I was going to do it after I finished hunting down all these drones. I was going to enslave this uh, race, but now there's no point. There's nothing left to observe. Okay. Well, no slaves from them. We'll have to get we slaves from the Krithokan Imperium. Technology. Too bad, so sad. All right. I need energy. So let's put you here. And we do need an Autoton Monument, so let's go ahead and put that in place. And then, as soon as possible, we're going to need to get a power plant queued up there. Now, also, Governor Level Cap increased by 2. Subject Opinion increased by 20. And Trust Cap increased by trust cap increased by 50. Well, we don't have subjects yet, so let's go for that one first. And then Ebermachus has some additional... ...buildings I can throw up. Let's see. I think what I would rather do here is put you down in this direction. Do we already have a fortress on Ebermachus? I think we do. Yeah, it's right there, in fact. Okay, we found an alien barracks. The silhouettes discernible from orbit are indeed buildings, and closer inspection revealed them to be of an obvious martial nature. While abandoned for some time, though very recently on a galactic timescale, science officer Hagahona, or Hagonona, I keep misreading that, believes that secrets of alien tactics may yet be exhumed from beneath the dust that covers the decaying barracks and looted armories. A special project may be issued to study the remains. All right, so alien barracks. Let's go ahead and have her look into that right now. What else can I do here? Off-world trading company. Oh, okay, so I have to build an off-world trading company. It's good to know, though in order to give the boost to the trading hubs. That's fine. I'll go ahead and install that, and that'll really help with the energy problem. We really need to get our naval capacity up, though, and that's how we'll do that with anchorages. We could also do it with research. Let me go ahead and get that tile blocker research taken care of, and let's go back and look again at this. I need to wait for some minerals to build up. Okay. Martial law edict affecting Ebermachus Prime has expired, so... Are we back to having some unrest, or are things better? I mean, there's still some unrest, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. Special product complete. Okay, so Hag Honona now has the military theory trait. Science officer Hag Honona, through or Hag Honona's thorough xeno-historical analysis of the military installation on Zule Crow 3A, has yielded few tangible results. The base was constructed before the planet turned completely barren. But it is unclear if it's current inhospi inhospitability. I always trip over that word every single time I'm recording for Stellaris. Inhospitability, or in, in, inhospitality even, is a result of armed conflict or some other peaceful or even natural process. Yeah, I think inhospitability would be... A better word there. Anyway, anyway, what can be deduced of their strategies and tactics in armed conflict does not seem to have been far in advance of our own. On the upside, science officer Hakonona claims to have drawn much inspiration from the alien remnants. Cool. So we need a power plant here. Yesterday. Let's do that. Food-wise, we're going to need some help soon, but I think I want to have you set up a research lab. Construction complete. Okay. Peace officer. Or peace offer, rather. We've got to clear out more of these guys. System survey complete. The energy deficit has pretty much vaporized. Oh, executor. Oh, that's really good. Oh my god, that's so cool. All right, so now that uh, Ratana has deep connections, we now have extra monthly influence. 123 influences in our current pool, but we get an extra influence point as a result of that. Governor... Governor Limathara has just died. Our very first governor finally died. Took forever. Not that we were waiting for them to die, but... We can go ahead and promote Veldenor, who would improve mineral and food production among all of our slaves. Uh... I can't imagine there being a better governor option. Let's recruit Veldenor and put them in place. That doubled our mineral surplus. Very nice. Alright. Let me go ahead and build a mining network here. Well, we can't just yet. We're finally out of resources. Incoming raid. A raiding fleet belonging to a previously unknown species has been detected approaching our borders. These savages who called themselves the... Oh, man. Not a bug. Have apparently been paid by rivaling foreign power to attack our systems. They are transmitting a message directed towards us on an open channel. 
Cowards huddling in darkness have asked us to face you since they are too afraid to do so themselves. Are there any Sundrain warriors honorable enough to meet us in open battle then, or must we must we plunder your systems unopposed? Show us your worth. Go to red alert. Well, that's annoying. Where are they? I'm I'm hunting these guys right now. Like I'm doing other things. And where are they coming from? Is my next question. I don't know if we have what it takes to stand against them. I really don't. Ancient mining drones. Asset protection unit. Ancient mining drones. It's a shame that we don't have more information on them, but I don't see where they are. So these guys are going to wreck us, unless we can wreck them first. But being over our naval capacity is proving to be a bit of a problem right now. Curious to see where they're going to come from. I mean, we do need the energy, so I kind of want to keep Rapakin's Armada on their current objective. Yeah, go ahead and finish these guys off. Both of them, because we need the energy. Uh, we can get some influence by giving up some... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this, because we're about to gain more energy. There we go. So we got some influence from that, and we can do a lot with it. But I need to know where these raiders are coming from. I don't see, like, any of them right now. Let's also take a look at terraforming, because I was curious about this before. We can make this an ocean world. Seems like, it really does seem like terraforming has changed a little bit, because I'm not seeing anything about requiring better technology. I'll have to see if that's been removed, because I'm honestly not sure. Okay, so... It's a little bit dicey of a proposition to attack this world here because this is their central nexus, but I kind of want to do it anyway because this would give me a ton of energy. There's some ancient mining drones up there too. And we're one jump away. Let me go ahead and do it. I just feel like this is the smart thing to do given that we've got some incoming problems. From God knows where. Construction complete. Where are they going to attack from? Ancient Mineral Processing Hub. The Ropakins Armada has encountered a significant ancient mining drone presence in the Hark system. It appears to be a major mining and mineral processing hub. Perhaps the last of its kind in the galaxy. Um. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to see what we can learn from it before we kill it. Because I feel like the project might not take that long. Yeah, let's see what we can learn from it. It's going to take three months. System survey complete. Okay, let's... Oh, hello. They actually all jumped on top of me from different directions. So this is a little bit dicier of a fight. I still think we have the edge. Yeah, we've still got this. But they are managing to destroy my ships a little bit more. The point defense destroyers haven't arrived yet either. In case you didn't notice. But we're still beating them. Handily, actually. And hopefully gaining some energy from it in the process. Not just yet, but as each fleet dies, we'll be better off. Yep. There we go. Alright, so Trinius Station has... I think we're ready for our off-world trading company. Let's go ahead and plug that in so we have some additional energy. Our naval capacity is also improving, I'm guessing because our population is improving. We don't quite have the resources to do everything yet that I need to on my home worlds, but we're getting there. Things are slowly recovering now that our naval capacity is getting better. I just don't know what these marauders are going to do to me. Man, check this out. How close are we to finishing that? One month? I think I'll keep these guys in the system. Let's go ahead and finish off this station, too. Because that'll give me some additional energy. I am loving how this works. And once we're done here, shouldn't take too much effort. Once we're done here, we can just annihilate these stations all at once. And then bring a research craft in. Yeah, you can see these destroyers on the way to join the main fleet. So I'll just keep you here for a second. And we are doing just fine. There we go. 
Droning Optimization's Edict. That's what I thought we would get. So let's look at our Edicts for a moment, because now we have so much more influence. We also have a lot more energy. So I could do a Fear Campaign, Education Campaign, Recycling Campaign. I could do... I could definitely run one of these. Let's do that. That'll improve our mineral income a good bit. Leader Experience Gain plus 25. That's tempting, but not as much as some of these others. Improved Energy Initiative. <laughs> I mean, the cost of this thing is ridiculous. Map the stars, I kind of want more because it's so cheap. Capacity overload is good, but we don't quite have enough for it. And that would give us a lot better energy. The consumer goods cost reduction here would be great. And we're currently researching better power plants, I think. Which is a field manipulation tech I kind of just want map the stars so that we can get as much science as possible out of this and be advanced and be better than everyone else oh, we're 31 minutes in here I've been having too much fun all right let's go ahead and do map the stars because I don't want to use all my influence and I want to keep expanding let me also come down here and we're gonna add Hades in addition to adding Okay, we don't have the minerals, actually. I'm used to needing influence, now I need minerals to colonize these, but that's fine. Now we can, as soon as those other destroyers arrive, we can annihilate those guys. But I will go ahead and stop this episode here. In the next one, we are going to see where these uh, incoming raiders are coming from. I, I, I really don't know where they're going to hit, which direction they're going to hit me from. And I'm sure that these guys paid them in order to attack me, so I'm kind of annoyed. But at the same time, uh, I don't feel particularly threatened by this situation. Their technology level is now inferior compared to ours, so we are in an increasingly good position to get them back for whatever they just did to uh, have us raided. So next couple of episodes should be pretty fun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.